Hello, dear friends. Things of spirit are foolishness to materialists. Knowledge may be folly to those who are lost, but not to those who are saved. Lack of virtue leads to madness, while purity of heart leads to liberation. Opinion piece. Planetary spiritual madness. Parasite cleansing. Snoopers or larkers. Collapse is the event. A new dawn will break. All the way to south. Dragon energy is needed. Unraveling of marauders. Three dimensional drama. Every rebirth brings chaos. Three brutal months ahead. The world is about to change. The sun is parting right now. Baba Banga predicted this crisis. How to survive in an emergency? There will be much unexpected news. The government prepares for collapse. High solar activity for two or three more years. You are the worst enemy of your all own well-being. Let's start. The planet's energy field is controlled by the Larkers, who is the main spiritual infection of the population, according to Cobra. These beings are the primary reason why this planet has been occupied by dark forces for 25,000 years. In the last few decades, there has been an immense purification of layers in many dark networks, which has improved many situations. The dark network is still present, but it is no longer a problem. The main problem is the disappearance of the lacquers and their influence, but the situation has reached the point where the final activation of the dragon energy on the planet is possible. What is happening behind this process is the unraveling of the lacquers. The lacquer was created at the beginning of time, where the source projected part of itself into the primary anomaly in order to dissolve it. The interaction between the larker and the primary anomaly was what created evil later on. But this cosmic problem is finally being solved by the unraveling of the larker from the human mind. Definition What is the larker? The term larker refers to a being who has the habit to inclination to a snoop, that is, to pry, explore, or snoop around, trying to find out what doesn't concern them, and to make fun of people in a subtle, indirect, or covet way. The Laka refers to a type of all, online profile or behavior where the person observes and follows conversation or activities in a digital community without actively participating. This term is used in forums, social networks, and other online spaces where it is possible to interact with content without necessarily commenting, posting, or being noticed. An article in O Consolador exposes the planetary transition from spiritual perspective mentioning the evolution of spirits and the possibility of being exiled to other worlds depending on their degree of spiritual development. Reference is made to the work of Emmanuel, dictated to the medium Chico Javier, which analyzes planetary evolution and the influence of spirits from other star systems. Parasites The physical body is obvious to everyone but non-physical bodies are not. They are the ones who create the human energy field, emotional and mental activities. The problem is that these bodies are controlled by parasites or stalkers. On the physical plane, they manifest as ill illnesses. On the etheric plane, they manifest as a lack of energy or tiredness. On the emotional plane, they manifest as negative emotions or madness. On the mental plane, they manifest as doubt and worry, or 
as mental illness at West. A parasite is an organism that lives at the expense of others, feeding on them and wakening them without killing them, as some politicians do. Everyone on this planet is affected by the larker to some extent. The only remedy for this situation is to connect with the light or with the higher self. The remedy for the mental plane is common sense, that is, the ability to understand or judge things in a sensible and reasonable way. The remedy for the astral plane is happiness, for the etheric plane a great amount of energy, and for the physical plane it is health care. Unraveling. Source itself and the forces of light have begun to unravel these parasites from humankind. The process began a few weeks ago. The basic and core parasitic infection has been eliminated from the population. We are still in the testing phase of the removal process. The forces of light are using advanced technology to remove the parasitic infection from humankind. They are testing the extent of their technology because too much exposure could cause reactions. Within a few weeks, the forces of light will enforce this unraveling, which means we will all go through our own personal problems. This is a necessary purification process that must occur before the event. If you have a lot of things to release and purify, use the violet flame. There will be significant events and many changes. The dragon energy is very necessary in this process because it is the energy of the human Kundalini. The epicenter of these events is in Asia. The geopolitical effect can be seen everywhere on the planet. The activation of the dragon ley lines will bring the divine masculine energy that brings physical action to accelerate the event. Therefore, in the next few days, there will be a lot of unexpected news. Examples. The panicked stomach is the agitation of the vagus nerve. Hysteria is an um, unmanageable fear or an emotional disaster. Insanity is the conscious determination to harm another being. Wrong emotions are anger, fear, grief, apathy, or antagonism. A psychotic is someone who is harmful to other people and to himself. Sensible is someone who is prudent, sane, moderate, reasonable, and of good judgment. A rabbit is a person who runs away from all things, including their reactive mind. Or his reactive mind. There are so many crazy people that one cannot explain how they can they have been able to reach such insanity. Confronting is the ability to be there comfortably, receiving your space and your time. A suppressive is a spiritual ill being who bases his survival on harming others. Imagination is the faculty of the soul that represents images of real or ideal things. The creation of future realities through imagination is a highly valued function. You are the worst enemy of your own well-being, and the separated mind is your greatest weapon against yourself, according to Doc Poet. New Face Daily Message from Kesharash The uprisings around the well and the collapse of the economy are just the first signs that the matrix is not only malfunctioning, but it is crumbling, because it is no longer supported by the higher energies entering the earth. A new dawn will emerge, because the collective is seeking a new way of being. In living a life of joy, happiness and abundance is what God intended us to have. This, there are times when the intensity is overwhelming, but there are more moments of joy, and it is this 
that we must align ourselves with. A planet is slowly regaining unity, although there is still a long way to go. Listen to your inner guidance to see where you are, what you need to unify, and what is happening on the planet. As there is much false narrative and not all that is being healed. According to Christine Day, today, Saturday, August 10th, we enter another phase of awakening. Prepare for an intensification of daily experience. There will be great change in this time period, a time of accelerated intensity. This third dimensional third dimensional upheaval can bring opportunity for transformation and higher personal awakening. You can expect a series of new dramatic episodes that will build as we move through August, September and November. There will be political upheaval, earth changes and major third dimensional drama around the world. These are the accelerated changes that have has been prophesied, knowing that all rebirths bring chaos. Apocalyptic news. The world is about to change. Three brutal months of revelation are coming, according to Berters and astrology. It's not the end of the world, but the transformation of the system. We are in the last days, but they want to manipulate that to usher in a sinister version of heaven of earth after an artificial apocalypse. The moment of the financial crash is the moment of the event. Both light and darkness have their own plan for collapse. When it happens, the forces of light will take over. Canada is falling apart, unemployment is rising, and inflation is taking its toll on the people. Donald Trump says we are close to a depression like the one in 1929. The dark side has destroyed the economy with its agenda, and people see it. Donald Trump's plane was forced to make an emergency landing on Friday afternoon on Billings, Montana, due to a mechanical problem. Government prepares for collapse. The military is building its own do doomsday plan. To survive in an emergency. Don't travel abroad if you don't have to. If things start to heat up, your home may be the safest place. The line between good guys and bad guys can get blurry when the moral of law is reversed. Michael Jong advises escaping cities that are collapsing in the coming chaos. Safiel gave the same advice years ago, and no one listened. The Harlequin spoke of a world earthquake that would last eight hours. The Jericho Podeido, also called Oka or Oxalis tuberosa, is the most productive in the world according to the Harlequin. It is an Andean plant that produces edible tubers, similar to small potatoes, and is grown in regions of South America, such as Peru and Bolivia. How can we, we still stand? asks Sierra. In quotes, yesterday I asked two friends how we are still standing. They nodded with empathy and sighed. Then I said, I would like to put my body into hibernation and wake up when all this is over. Baba Banga's doomsday prediction for 2025 has triggered the sale of survival kits on Kotsko and Amazon. The most popular is ReadyWise Emergency Food Supply, which costs $80, contains food that expires in 25 years, and comes in 132 servings. According to Baba Banga, the year 2025 would begin with a conflict in Europe. She also predicted that between 2025 and 28, 
a solution to the world hunger crisis would be found. For this year, 2024, Baba Vanga predicted an economic crisis that will affect most countries, attributed to corruption and pure management of economic resources. The largest oil field in North Africa in Libya unexpectedly shuts down and stops pumping crude oil. This halt in production threatens the stability of the oil markets. Libyan oil has become a weapon between the factions in the country. All the way south is a metaphor to describe a process of exploration, discovery of profound change in a person's life. Going south can symbolize entering unknown territory, making important decisions on embarking on a new path. The sun is on a party. Another solar storm is coming. Meteorologists predict a G2 cluster storm today, August 10th, when it is expected to hit the Earth. Many people would die of fright if a big solar flash occurred right now according to Ashta, but it won't happen until more people are prepared at the perfect divine moment. Northern lights appear over Russia. A stunning aurora show in US and Canada after rare solar flare. Perseid meteor shower. This, is, this show has its peaks on activity between the night of August 11 and 12th. Sun spot count hits 23 year high. The sun is parting like it's 2001. Solo cycle 25 wasn't expected to be this strong. When it began in December 2019, experts predicted it would be a weak cycle like a wake cycle like its immediate processor, solo cycle 24. Instead, cycle 25 has outperformed 24 and could be on a track to rival some of the strongest cycles of the 20th century. The number of sunspots is likely to continue to increase in the coming months. And based on the behavior of previous cycles, we can expect high solar activity for at least two to three more years. And that's all for today. Thanks a lot, dear friends.